to do now is we want to uh, work on transferring through the recovery and getting ready for that catch so we can have a nice progression from the recovery onto the catch and hitting our drive. So if, again, if you watch a lot of people row, they come up the, up the recovery, they get to the catch, and then they square their blades. So this is a bad thing because it doesn't let our blades get prepped up and we end up missing our catch because our blades aren't squared. So we can't take it at the proper timing. We end up missing it. It doesn't take much to miss it. We miss it pretty quick. So what we want to do is we want to think about rolling those blades up to the square. So this is something we'll do ultimately with both blades. But right now I'm just going to demonstrate it with one. And it's very similar to the snake drill, except that we would do it when we're rowing. So we think about that release. As the hands come down and pass the knees, that's where we want to think about, okay, I'm going to start rolling. So as we pivot, we're going to start that blade rolling, 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 so it's ready for that catch. So we can lift that hand, plunk it straight in the water, and take that stroke. Now, to do this, we want to make sure that we get very early on that square, so we can start rolling nice and early, but we're not squaring it instantly. So we don't want to see people rowing on the square, coming up feathered, squaring and then coming the rest of the way up trying to fight for a square, you want to find that roll, a nice gradual progression to a full square. A nice gradual progression until it's ready and squared just before we're going to drop it in the water. If we do it too early, we may as well be doing square blade rowing. We don't want to do square blade rowing, not right now anyway. So the good thing about this here and taking it nice and slow is it helps us really think about relaxing those hands because again if we have the hands too tight we may end up slamming our blades too, uh, too aggressively in the water they'll go too deep. So as we come up that slide we're going to think nice light hands, feel the roll, feel the roll, feel the roll, feel it sort of click in and then we're good to go. We want very light hands, very relaxed, feel that roll and then plunk it in, take it away. So we want to think of a couple things on this. Rolling very early, rolling continuously to the catch, and having nice, light, relaxed hands and arms. And, uh, and that should hopefully help you get a nice transition from your recovery into the catch and lead you to a uh, good, strong drive. Thanks a lot.